Hey there, it's Corey. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the few components and essential items that go into preparing yourself to do an edge-to-edge -edge on your Autopilot Mach 3 Anova. This video will work if you have a classic machine or an M-series machine, as long as it has Autopilot Mach 3 on it. So if we take a look at the software, with your machine on, when you open up Autopilot, the first thing that you'll see is that the software wants you to create a sew zone. Now your sew zone is the quilting space that it tells the computer, this is how much I can actually quilt in this area. Without a sew zone, Autopilot thinks we have unlimited throat space, which would be wonderful, but in this case we do not. So we need to tell it exactly what the throat space is using a sew zone. So it would like me to go to my right rear corner of my sew zone. So I'm going to come over to my machine, and in the Mach 3 setting on my lightning stitch screen, I have my accept and back buttons. So I'm going to take my machine to my right rear corner, and I like to take it all the way to the right rear, even off the fabric. So I'm going all the way to the back and all the way over to the right. What this allows you to do is if, let's say for instance, in this edge to edge quilt, you might be doing a border and you're gonna turn the quilt to do it, you don't have to reset up a sew zone because you have filled that sew zone up with your entire quilting space that you have available. So we're gonna put that the back right space. I'm gonna tap accept on my lightning stitch screen. Once I tap on accept and it switches over to the other accept, it's gonna show me on the screen that it wants me to move to the front left corner of the sew zone. So I'm gonna take my machine to the front left corner, and once I get close to my keyboard and mouse tray, I may need to move it ever so slightly to get right exactly where I need to go, but I'm bringing it all the way to the front. That's giving me all my quilting space possible. So I'm holding that right here at the front left, and I'll tap on accept on my lightning stitch screen. Once I do that, you'll notice on your computer screen that you have a gray sew zone box and now you also have your crosshairs as well that will be moving around. So that's step one of setting yourself up is creating a sew zone. Make it as large as you can, all the way to the back right corner, all the way to the front left corner, and you wanna go all the way up to the front. The next step is setting your quilt size. So before you load your quilt top onto the frame, you will want to know the width and the total length or height of that quilt. And once you have those measurements down, you're gonna put them into the software. So you're gonna come up to settings, come down to quilt size, and enter the sizes into the quilt size box. Autopilot remembers the last sizing that you put in. So the last quilt I did was 57 and some change by 59. But the one that I have on the frame now is 86 square. So it's 86 by 86. Once I enter those numbers in, I'll click accept and it will fill up the screen. Now, remember, because your sew zone is as large as it is right now, your quilt grid may not fill up the entire sew zone, and that is okay. But you just wanna be prepared if you do have to turn the quilt or anything like that during the process, that you don't have to recreate another sew zone. Now that we've done that, the last step that we wanna do is tell Autopilot exactly where these crosshairs are on the quilt. Because right now, it doesn't really know where things are besides where the sew zone is. So I need to tell Autopilot where an actual corner of my quilt is. I like to use the upper left because normally that's where the machine is closest to at the time. So I'm gonna bring the machine over to the upper left corner of my quilt and place it right at that upper left piece. Once it's there, I'm gonna return back to my screen and you'll notice that the upper left portion where the crosshairs are, are far away from this upper left portion of the actual quilt grid, which is where the quilting's going to go. So I do need to tell Autopilot exactly where this machine is to have the most success when doing an edge to edge. I'm gonna come down to my reposition icon and I'll click on reposition. I'm gonna use the method of align to quilt and I'm gonna zoom in by rolling the roller on my mouse and I'm gonna left click on the upper left corner because that's where my machine is at on the quilt. I'll get a little uh, red square with an X through it. Once I've done that, you'll see in the reposition box that the option for apply pulls up. So I'll click on apply. And now my crosshair has moved to the actual true upper left of the quilt. So I'm gonna click on done. 
And just like that, I've set myself up for the most success with the groundwork and essentials for creating an edge to edge. In the next video, we'll take a look at setting up an edge to edge using the edge to edge function. I'll see you there.